Hi, Aunt Rosemary. Um, I'm about to tell a story to my nieces and nephews that perhaps they didn't know about you. But what spurned this was the lull of conversation at our Thanksgiving table. So we're telling stories about you. That's how sad our Thanksgiving is now. Is, um, well, without further ado, we present to you, once upon a time, Aunt Rosemary, being a do-gooder, decided to go and become a missionary in Africa. And after she would work hard at doing good, that's her right there, um, she would have to drive home and through the jungle. So it's, she would get into her car and she would drive past the elephants. And she would pass past the antelopes. And when she was driving home, she came across an animal that she loved with all her heart, the giraffe. So she stopped to admire this beautiful, docile creature. But in her amazement, she didn't realize that lurking was an evil, one of the scariest things in Africa. She was driving home with it. We need something to be the Catholic priest. Put him in the back. Put, put him in the back with the altar boy. Okay. Um, it's, and then a dangerous rhinoceros came. And he came and he flipped the car over. And then he waited for her to come out because she seemed to be a tender little Irish Catholic morsel. So when, and only when, the rhinoceros turned his head for a brief second. Aunt Rosemary you know, had terrified her and she was running for her life, running for her life. Where could she go for to find safety? Luckily, there was a giant tree. So she decided to climb up the tree and she hid up in the tree until night fell. And she waited until the sun came up. At this point, the Catholic priest had picked up a package from, that was sent to her from the United States from her sister so she wouldn't be so lonely in Africa. And he pushed it beneath the giant tree. But what was in this package? Was it sharp Christmas ornaments or was it something that could save her life? So Aunt Rosemary decided to take a leap. A leap of faith. And she jumped, spiraling down, down, down. And luckily what she fell into was her sister Patricia's jello salad that people still aren't eating. And it saved her life. She was so grateful thankful for her life and the Catholic priest. She wanted to show her gratitude, but because of religious beliefs and other reasons, she wasn't able to. So she went walking through Africa, and luckily, there was a naval ship in town. In the Navy. You can sail the seven seas. Where she met a, capping, a strapping a sailor named Commander Eden. Commander Eden. She threw her arms around him, and it was love at first sight, and they went beneath the tropical palms. I appreciate your heart. Got married and lived happily, happily ever after. This is the crew and the puppeteers. Where my jamin, whoopum kambati. Where my jamin, whoopum kambati. When my jamin, open combati. When my jamin, open combati.